Let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams. Starting with Kansas City, they have to feed the rookie running back Kareem Hunt. He's going to be the starter for the season with Spencer Ware out with a torn ACL. And I like the way Hunt can run the football in between the tackles. He's also a threat in the passing game. So don't be afraid to feed the rookie. He can handle the load. Also, you look at the defense. It has to be 60 minutes of pressure. And we're not just talking about pressure coming from the outside on Tom Brady. That's obvious. I'm talking about pressure on the outside. Don't be afraid to press those wide receivers and throw off the timing of the passing game of New England. That's how they can affect the pocket faster and also get these guys off the field. And finally, Chiefs quarterback Alex Smith has to be able to hit his free throws. Now, they won't go down the field a lot in this ballgame, but when they do, he has to be accurate, he has to be anticipatory, and he has to be able to connect deeper down the field if they want to have success. Moving over to the Patriots in this ball game, I think they have to be patient offensively. I know they have the new toy out there on the flanks and Brandon Cooks. Don't force the issue with him trying to get him the football deep down the field. Be patient and those opportunities will present themselves. In the running game, I think they can get outside with their rushing attack with James White and company, Deion Lewis and those guys. You want to turn those Chiefs pass rushers, D Ford, Justin Houston and company, turn those guys into run defenders. Running outside, I think, could lead the Patriots to success. And defensively, it's all about not taking the cheese, keeping your eyes on your luggage. You can't allow Tyreek Hill to get deep down the field and gas you and get a cheap touchdown. Otherwise, you could find yourself on the losing end of the scoreboard. The biggest X factor in this game for Kansas City, in my opinion, is cornerback Marcus Peters. Can you score and can you take the ball away? I think Peters has a unique opportunity to do both. We know he can take the ball away because he's an outstanding corner with ball skills and he has the ability to bring one back to the house. And I do believe in this ball game, probably in the second quarter, there will be an opportunity to pick off a pass and he has to be able to convert and get the ball back to Alex Smith and that offense. And for New England, I look at Dwayne Allen being the biggest X factor. We know a lot of attention will be on Brandon Cooks. A lot of attention will be on trying to get pressure on Tom Brady. And a lot of attention will be on tight end Rob Gronkowski, which make things easier for a guy like Dwayne Allen to find himself open early and often. So I think he's going to have to play a huge role in this ballgame to not only take pressure off Rob Gronkowski, but also help convert some of those third downs. And we know he's a big factor in run blocking. So Dwayne Allen, in my opinion, will play a huge role in this ball game against Kansas City. I like Kansas City in this ball game. I think they'll have success running the football without Spencer Ware, which will then open up their play action passing game. And let's not forget they have two dynamic playmakers in Travis Kelsey, the tight end, and also wide receiver Tyreek Hill. And don't sleep on a guy like DeAnthony Thomas playing a big role in this ball game. Plus, defensively, I think they have enough within the front seven to create pressure and frustrate Tom Brady and that offense. And on the back end, they have guys like Eric Berry and we mentioned Marcus Peters that can help take the ball away. I think the Chiefs will play a complete game offensively defensively and on special teams.